Tom? Who knows? Let's find out. It's time for today's Mission Beach. America's toughest lifeguard school has once again allowed eight Irish teens to join them for one challenging summer that they will never forget. I'm so excited! My legs are going to fall off, my arms are just dying. It's a grueling course, headed by lifeguard veteran and ruthless taskmaster, Coach Chris. Who thinks I'm soft now? And this time, he's even tougher. Everyone has to give their personal best. I don't expect anything less than that. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. I love you. A new crew of eight Irish teens will be pushed to their physical and mental limits. Lift. Oh. Put your hands on your bum and lift. Oh. Will the Irish impress Coach Chris? Or will they fall apart? If you don't find the heart, you can take your butt home. And will any of them manage to pass the hardest lifeguard course in America? If you go like that, it gets you in the cadet. Spending three weeks away from home and tasting as much of Florida life as possible, there's romance, revelry, and even the most bling of parties, an all-American prom. It's the ultimate summer camp. This is Mission Beach, USA. Last time on Mission Beach. Who thinks I'm soft now? Jess got promoted to cadets. I'm on a high now. Cloud nine isn't high enough for me at the moment. Three. Then lost her nerve <laughs> and her position. We're going to rookies. She just took too long. That's as simple as it. And the junior guards got to rock out. You were shocking. I was actually pretty good. <laughs> It's the start of the final week at Fort Lauderdale Lifeguard Camp, and the rookies are striving for promotion to cadet in order to pass the course. And there's no better way to prove themselves than their biggest challenge yet, jumping off a 35-foot pier into shark-infested waters. To be sure they can make the leap, today Coach Chris wants to test their bravery. They have to jump from a speedboat traveling at terrifying 26 knots. High-speed rescues are carried out when lifeguards need to get a victim out of the water quickly. If the jump is executed badly, arms, legs, and lives can be lost. Last summer, California, somebody died doing this. Okay, junior lifeguard. All right, needless to say, I don't want that here. Does everybody understand? Sure. All right, safety check. When they tell you to jump, you do not wait. You jump and then cross your legs. Does everybody understand that? You need to take your legs. Do you need to jump up and out? Yes, because you'll hit the prop if you don't. So you kind of like plunge forward. Yep. All right, the first will be Ali, Miram, and Jess. Good luck, thank you. You'll do fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. Don't die. I need you all back here on the side. Thanks, side Emily. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Ready for you, Chris, go. I'm excited right now. I'm a bit nervous, so like, are you guys a bit anxious? <laughs> All I can say is that if I cut off a limb, I'm killing him. Uh, <laughs> I'll come after him half minute if I have to. They're going, they're going, they're going. Cadet Mirren is first up. Go, Mirren! Wow! That was exhilarating, to say the least. Like, I mean, the force of the boat just takes you in my head. Just got smacked by the water. It was amazing, like. Next is US guard Ali. A perfect jump. Then rookie Jess. It's a close call. Oh my god. Oh. Is she okay? And coach Chris nearly had a heart attack. She narrowly missed the side of the boat. What? Oh, that looks scary do. now. And I come back up and I'm like, it's okay. The, the water is enraged. I'm moving on my limbs. I'm alive. What was that jump? It's to scare Coach Chris to death for jump? Is that what it was? It was oh, so much fun. Wow. It was so much fun for you. Not so much fun for me. You OK? Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh. <laughs> look okay? Yeah, that was good. It's the boys' turn. Can they jump without a hiccup? 
pretty nervous, but psyched to actually do it. Can't wait. It's nerve-wracking watching it. First in is Michael. And like always, it's spot on. Good job. And can little Sean overcome his jitters? Bad jump. Uh, nerves got the best of me, and uh, my technique went out the window. Can Dylan manage to jump safely? Good job. Oh, my God. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He was that close to the papaya. I thought Dylan was gone. It looked bad from the beach, but he cleared the boat in the perfect position. John, are you in pain at all? Yeah. See, he did it properly, yeah. no pain. You, I what went, was that? I went like this. You went like this and your legs were out like this because you were scared, right? Yeah. The biggest time you make mistakes is when you're nervous. The nerves, you have to bring those nerves in to make sure you do it properly. So it's bad news for the final girls to go because Emily and Kira are terrified. Look at the motor! It's huge! It's like a beast! Can they avoid the propeller? That was kind of freaky. I thought Kira and Emily um, hit the propeller, but I, I suppose it was just the angle we were looking at it. Um, geez. So what if I nearly died? I had a ball. It was grand. So with no lives lost, they've all qualified for the next and even more frightening stage of the course, the pier jump. But worried that his poor technique on the speedboat may affect his chances of moving up, little Sean's got some buttering up to do. Chris, What's up? Uh, I was just, I have to ask. I need to know how to get into the depths. Like, what do I have to do to prove myself here? You know, you keep going the way you're going right now, working hard, and you'll get there. Keep it up, man. Good job, okay? It's super important for me to impress Chris because cadets is where I want to be. I, I, I am not a rookie at heart. I'm a cadet. Can little Sean sucking up to the coach give him the break he needs? So today, we have the mentorship to sit in a lifeguard stand with Mitch McCready, one of our experienced senior guards out here. That mentorship is going to go to one of you that I feel have done pretty good lately. And that person is little Sean. So maybe the sucking up worked. Don't let me down, OK? I'm so happy. He finally noticed that I was trying hard. I think he's really lucky. I'm, I'm actually really jealous of him, to yeah, I think we're all jealous. But uh, no one deserved it more. Can't wait to see what what a lifeguard does in a day and how many saves. See what it's just see what it's like in general. This is a fantastic opportunity for little Sean. Come on up. If he shines here, he could move up and secure a position as cadet. Well, when he's sitting in the tower, this isn't practice anymore. Something could happen today. He needs to be on his on his game. How many years have you been at this? Uh, Twenty-two years, and I was seventeen when I started. What's the most saves you've done in a day? I think I had eight. Did all of them make it? Of course. What we do the most is we prevent. And as I get older, I, I hardly ever have rescues, because I can see it before it happens. Yeah. Well, we say uh, a dry lifeguard is a good lifeguard. Sure. But with the pier jump coming up, Sean's got one thing on his mind. Have you ever been involved in a shark attack? No. no? Really? We've had barracuda bites, like that thing on your eye. I would take that out. You don't want to lose an eyeball to yeah. a barracuda. Uh, the pier just up the beach. Yeah. The guy wasn't using his common sense. Was snorkeling around the rocks, spear fishing, and had fish on him. Yeah. So of course he got bit in his elbow. So that stuff happens, and sooner or later you're gonna get nailed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've learned so much today. Being a lifeguard isn't exactly what I expected. I kind of thought, oh, he'd just be sitting around all day. But there's so many things. It's a lot more exciting. When I get home, I'm going to make it as a lifeguard in Ireland, and uh, hopefully Mitch will come over and I'll be able to show him my tower in a couple of years. Back at home, and the rookie girls are worried about their performance on the course. I feel like the tension's building up and it's getting closer and closer to the end, and you get more nervous. Like, it's not just training anymore. It's... Yeah getting to the point where we're going to be tested. I'm sorry, I'm just terrified of this pair jump. You're terrified of the pair jump? Heights, people, heights! I can't! Jess was demoted from cadet after stalling on the 10-meter dive board. How do you feel about, you know, the whole rookie situation? Angry. Man, I'd be so disappointed if I didn't pass. I think we can do it, though. I really do, you know? Like, I know we get all the criticism, and I know we're not the best, but I really think we can do it. But the 
boys aren't so positive. I think Emily and uh, Kira are struggling. I'm kind of worried for Jessica in a way because like she's really going downhill the last few days. The diving board was more a test to see who was mentally capable and it just showed that uh, Jess wasn't completely committed. Within that time, someone could have drowned, you know what I mean? With the pier jump just hours away, who will have the guts to take the plunge? Over the last 15 days, the junior guards have taken on many new and different challenges. It was a shock. Horrific. Today, they must step up to the pier jump. The commercial pier is the longest on the Florida coast. It extends 200 feet out and towers 35 feet above the ocean. Jumping from this height is extremely dangerous. But lifeguards have to save lives, whatever the conditions. And it looks like today's are far from perfect. Coach Chris has come across a big problem. Seven sharks have been spotted under the pier. This pier jump is the most dangerous I've ever dealt with, okay? We have so many different types of bait fish. We have snook, barracuda, tarpon, and sharks. Right now, we're delaying the pier jump for a little while until I can make sure there's not that many sharks down there. If there's a bunch of them, they'll start a feeding frenzy and somebody can get hurt really bad. The Irish junior guards are oblivious to what's going on under their feet. Morning. Good morning, guys and gals. Right. We're going to delay the start of the test. Let's go take a look over here. Look at all the fish. Whoa. See how they're feeding over there? There's just sharks on the bottom feeding. Oh, I don't like that, Chris. I know you don't. Oh, my goodness. We can see oh, sharks water. attacking in the water. They're huge. There's always going to be sharks in the water, yeah. but we're going to delay it to see if they stop feeding for a little bit. I don't want to I'm jump. I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid of sharks. Oh, I am bricking it. I am bricking it right now. My whole body's telling me to run away. I've never seen Sean scared before. You know, when Sean's scared, we should all be scared. Pardon the pun, but we've bitten off more than we can chew. No, we're <laughs> And desperately afraid of heights and sharks, Jess is refusing to do it. I'm not going in there. Well, you're going in. Jess, think about it. When you go back to Ireland, are you ever going to be able to see something or have the opportunity to jump in something like this? I almost die. No. You're not almost die. You're not going to die. Well, you got to take a risk once in your life. Yeah, I take so, a hey. risk when I get into the saddle every single day of my life. This is a death sentence. Jessica's freaking me out. She's, she's, she's saying it's a death sentence. I'm just really terrified. I just seriously don't want to do it. But she may have to. The lifeguards have checked the area and deemed it safe. You ready? Let's go. Coming up, a sea creature pays a visit. Will Jess and Sean overcome their fears? I was petrified. Oh my God! One guard fails to impress. In an emergency situation, you can't hesitate in a jump like that. 